Okay, next is the highlight image option. So we're going to show you what that question allows you to do. First, I need to get an image. All right, and I'm going to drag an image over. I want to use this one. Again, if you need to search for it, that's fine. Um, I already did. Uh, this looks good. So I'm going to say OK. Okay, and it says these colors will be available for students. So I want to say point to the liver in red. Now just make sure, preview this question. It says point to the liver in red. I can see uh, the picture here. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back to edit the question. Um, point. to the left lung in blue, point to, let's go back to the question again, left lung, and then how about the bladder? Okay, point to the bladder in green. All right, now I'm not gonna be able to put a right answer because this is like just a draw on it, okay? The downside of this is you really have to remember what your picture looks like or just go back and forth between preview questions. And then I'm going to click Save. You could have students just do one thing or multiple things. When I click Save, I remember that I had to have them pointing to three things. So I'm going to change this um, value um, to six points. Not only do they have to find the correct object, but then they actually have to point to it. So again, I'm going to change the point value. And 